All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing some practice finding the surface area of a solid of revolution, okay? So we have our first problem up on the board here. We have the graph of y equals x cubed, and we're taking that graph from zero to two and rotating that about the x-axis, okay? And we wanna find the surface area. So first, what's gonna be our equation? Well, we know that the surface area is gonna equal the integral from a to b of two pi, is it gonna be a y or an x? Well, since we're rotating about the x axis, we're gonna put a y here, okay? And then we have our arc length formula after that, right? We have the square root of one plus, we have x bounds, so we're gonna do dy dx squared, and then we have a dx on the outside. So what are some things that we should probably do right now? Well, we can find dy dx, we can square that, and that's something we can plug right into the formula here. So what is, to start off, what is dy dx? Well, since y is equal to x cubed, dy dx would be 3x squared, meaning that dy dx squared is going to be equal to 9x to the fourth. Okay, so we can plug that right in for our formula here. And we're going to get that the surface area is equal to the integral from zero to two, right? Those are our bounds. We have a two pi, we have an, uh, a y which is x cubed, right? So we have x cubed, and then the square root of one plus nine x to the fourth dx. All right, so now, how can we integrate this? Well, luckily we have an x cubed right outside of the integral and we have that x fourth term or x to the fourth term right inside the radical. So we'll be great to do a u substitution here. All right, so what should our u be? Well, our u would be one plus nine x to the fourth. u equals one plus nine x to the fourth. All right, and that means that du would become 36 x cubed. Okay, and of course, we don't have a 36 anywhere, so we can divide by 36. All right, and our substitution would be that du over 36 equals x cubed dx. All right, so putting that in here, we're going to get that the surface area is going to equal, going to be pi over 18, the integral of just going to be a rad u du on the inside all right now one thing that we still have to do is we have to change our bounds all right so when x actually we don't really need to write that down when x is equal to zero what's u going to be well if we put a x is zero here then it's just one right and if we put x equals two well i'll let you know right ahead it's going to be 145 right? big number Okay, so now we can integrate this pretty easily. We get that the surface area is equal to pi over 18 times two thirds u to the three halves evaluated from one to 145. So that means the surface area is now equal to, well, we're just going to get a pi over 27. And then we can do our evaluation, which is going to be 145 rad 145 minus one. Okay, now, like I've said this in other videos, but remember that u to the three halves, like u to the three halves of 145, something like that, you know, it's that number rad that number. And if you know that it's gonna help you, it's, you know, it's, it's much easier to just write it out really quick rather than trying to figure it out, maybe in a calculator or something like that. Okay, so anyways, uh, that's your answer for the first problem. So we have our next problem up on the board here. We have the graph y squared equals x plus one. And we have an interval that we're taking this curve of right zero to three and we're rotating it about the x-axis. So first off, we need to solve for y here, okay, right? We have x bounds, okay? So it's probably best to just take a radical on each side and you know solve for y. So we get that y equals the square root of x plus one. Now, quick question, why didn't I include a negative or, you know, like a plus or minus, something like that? Well, we're rotating it 
about an axis, right? So that means that it doesn't matter if we were to put a plus or minus here or not, okay? Think about the graph, okay? Red x plus one, something like that, right? If, if we were to include this graph, right, the, the minus part, it doesn't matter, okay? Because when we do our rotation about the x-axis, right? Or this is actually gonna be like this, and then yeah, right? It doesn't matter because we're rotating about it. We're already covering where that graph was anyway, okay? So there's no difference if we just leave it as rad x plus one, okay? Okay, so we have our graph now. Now, what's our formula? Where our, for well, our formula is gonna be exactly like it was before, okay? Surface area is going to equal the integral from a to b of 2 pi y, the square root of 1 plus dy dx squared dx. So what is our dy dx? Well, that's just going to be 1 over 2 rad x plus 1. All right, just like the, you know, if you're taking the derivative of rad x, it's 1 over 2 rad x. Well, since this x doesn't have any coefficient in front of it, that's, you know, something other than 1, we, we can just disregard it. Okay, so it's 1 over 2 rad x plus 1. And anyways, now we square it to get 1 over 4 times x plus 1. All right, so great. Now we've squared it. That's something we can put into our formula. So we're going to get that the surface area is equal to the integral from right our bounds, 0 to 3, of 2 pi times y, which is going to be rad x plus 1. And then we're going to multiply that by the square root of 1 plus 1 over 4 times x plus 1. Now, take a step back and look at this, okay? You have a rad x plus 1 here, okay? What do we know about that, that y, okay? Well, that y ends up usually, if it's a radical, it'll end up maybe canceling out with something. That's kind of how these problems are structured, right? And see that you have an x plus 1 right here, and that's in a radical. So if we get common denominators here, maybe we could cancel out this x plus 1 with the x plus 1 on the, on the, in the other radical, okay? That's something to think about. So if we try to get common denominators, we get the integral from zero to three of two pi. We have a rad x plus one. And getting common denominators here, well, we would have to have a four times x plus one on the bottom here. So that would end up being four times x plus one, and that'd be plus one, all over four times x plus one. Okay, so now we have common denominators. Now notice here, in the, in the bottom here, we don't have just an x plus 1, right? We also have that 4, but that's easy to get rid of, right? So we can, if, if it makes it seem a little clearer to you, you can rewrite the square root as this and this, okay? They're being divided. I mean, this is the same exact thing as what you just saw before. It might make it a little clearer for you to see, but this four is just gonna come out front, okay? And it's going to get rid of this two, okay? Because the square root of four is two, so that's gonna divide out. So we get, we can pull out that pi, the integral from zero to three. These x plus ones are gonna cancel, okay? Like I said, we already took care of that square root of four, so we're good. Now we have to, figure out what our square root is going to be and doing a little bit of distribution here and then adding that one you're going to get 4x plus 5 dx all right and now it's just the u substitution okay so we're going to get that u is equal to 4x plus 5 meaning that du is going to be equal to 4 dx since we don't have a 4 anywhere, we can divide by 4 on both sides to get du over 4 is equal to dx. So we're going to substitute with that and this. All right. Now, 
doing that, we're going to get this, the surface area is equal to, we're going to get pi over 4, right? We're going to have that over 4 that we need to pull out. And we're going to get the integral, we got to figure out our bounds yet, of rad u du. Okay, and of course, what are our bounds going to be here? Well, when we have a x is 0, okay, we get u equal to 5. And when we have u, or sorry, when we have x equal to 3, we have u equal to 17. Okay, and now we're just going to integrate. Surface area is equal to pi over 4 times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, right? Same integrand as last time. And we're going to evaluate that from 5 to 17. All right, cool. So now we get a, this just becomes pi over 6. And our, when we do our evaluation, we're going to get 17 rad 17 minus 5 rad 5. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for more applications of integration, the explanation video for surface area, and the next video in the series. See you soon.